Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, the 26th day of August. Here we go. Today's halacha actually comes at you in the form of a question. Here's the question that I have for you. You may or may not know that when we say Shemona Esrei every single day, there's a certain structure that's built into it that you may not be cognizant of. Here's what it is. The first three brachos, the first three blessings of the Shemona Esrei, the Amida, are basically the ones where we praise God. Like you come in front of the king and first you tell him how great he is. Seriously, that's what you have to do. And we speak the same way to the king of all kings, to God. We praise him in the first three blessings. Then in the middle of Shemona Esrei, that's where we make all of our requests. Uh, please give us knowledge. Please forgive us. Please give us health, you know, etc., etc., and things like that. And then in the last three blessings of Shemona Esrei, then we sort of move into the thank you part. As you wind down your visit with the King of All Kings, you thank him for all that he has done for you, and you say things like modim, etc. Okay, here's the question, though. During the Aseris Yemei Tshuva, during the 10 days of Tshuva, from Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, we add into our Shemona Esrei, in the first brach of Shemona Esrei, Zachreinu l'chaim, melech hafeitz b'chaim, v'chasveinu b'sefer ha'chaim, l'man chalav kim chayim, which basically, loosely translated, means, God, please remember us for life. Uh, that's not all the words, but that's the gist of it, is we're asking God, please, please help us live. And the obvious question, which you probably can get that I'm about to ask, is what are we doing making a request in the first three blessings, which we just explained, are there mostly to praise God? What are we doing? Get it? Okay, here's the most common answer to that question. When we say the word, Zachreinu l'chaim, melech hafez b'chaim, remember us for life, uh, king who wants us all to live, we are not actually saying, please, please, please help me live. Please, please make sure that my family lives. That's not actually what we're saying in that Zachreinu l'chaim piece. We are praising God at that point, and while we are praising God, what we do is we say, you are the one who remembers us for life. Just like we're going to mention, you are the one who has the power to bring the wind and the rain and bring the dead back to life. That's what we mention in the third bracha or the second bracha. So what we do right there at that point when we say, Zachreinu l'chaim, is you are the one. You have the great power to remember us all for life. And we're praising God. Just note that when you say it, you're not actually begging for your life. You're praising God at that point for being the life giver to all of us. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.